Um, <laughs> if a side hustle isn't also selfishly serving a passion you have, it's not really a side hustle. You, you may just be hustling. It's really hard to achieve your dream when you're just hustling. A couple of vlogs ago, I verbal vomited all over you guys around how I had a few passions. I sincerely apologize for that. The point I was trying to convey is that we are all dynamic human beings. Everything that my wife and I have done from a career perspective up until this point has led to our side hustle, the hideout cabin. Which isn't to say that you need experience to pursue your passions. It just makes it easier. My wife and I understood real estate, the rental market, really, 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 really well coming from it, selling it, renting it, marketing it. So we're at the point of no return. And if you're like, nah, this isn't for me, Will, pause, hit the back button. But if you want to know exactly what we did to make this happen, stick with me for five more seconds and now. Uh, okay, so this is the Airbnb and the side hustle that my wife and I finished back in 2017 and today I'm going to share with you guys how we did that. So while we had experience in real estate, I also had a healthy heaping of delusion. This is a trait that I totally over indexed in just like most entrepreneurs and being naive is essentially your penicillin, it's your superpower. And when thinking about ideas as big and risky as those you can dream, I think a dose of logic is totally required. But when you're ideating early on, logic is the killer of turning those big ideas, those huge dreams um, into motion. So we also have resources and this is totally crucial. I, I totally acknowledge that some dreams just can't be achieved without those resources. And I personally felt the sting of not being able to do, do the thing that I wanted because of that limitation. It sucks, but if you don't have them, make them. If you can make an undeniable case to borrow them, do that. Think outside the box. We certainly pushed the needle on our timeline, but began looking for land to build on in late, two, I think late 2015. Yes, late 2015. We discovered that buildable land, flat land with water and electricity already on the property was many times more desirable and for that reason, many times more expensive than land without those things. The first options were beyond our resources. And this would have also been a dream killer for sure. But delusion, this really fueled our resourcefulness. Enter the Chelan County GIS map. And I think that every county has their maps accessible online, but this is basically the bizarro world version of Zillow. It's not as broadly useful as that, but it does a few things really well. It tells you one, how much land someone owns, um, how much they purchase it for, and most importantly, who owns that land and where you can mail them things and spam mail we did. So we actually got this idea from friends to send letters to landowners that had a lot of acreage, at least 10. And we needed just two for our project. So we wrote a form letter online, I think, and uh, sent 65 of those form letters to owners of property that we liked, um, basically asking if they would take cash for a wee bit of their land. And surprise, surprise, 15 landowners wrote back and we looked at three and purchased this, this here, this here property. End of story, right? No, nope, not in the slightest. Now on to the build. And this was actually more difficult than purchasing land itself. There were a million decisions from start to finish. And again, the del delusion mixed with some naivety, uh, equaled forward movement in our case. We initially wanted to do a prefab build and this was theoretically supposed to be more efficient where a builder will put together an entire house in a warehouse, drive that house to your property and plop it down with a crane. In theory, this should have been more efficient and less expensive to do than building a traditional stick frame home. 
but we just weren't seeing those numbers jive. This was totally another one of those oh crap moments that we didn't plan for. We were a little disappointed, but we were already on the runway. So we instead found a great local contractor in Leavenworth and partnered with them to build the prefab home that we would have built with the prefab builder um, in a more traditional way. This process began in October of 2016 and we wrapped up in August 2017 and I will never be able to convey how much our expectations had to change along the way, um, how frustrating some, uh, some moments were. But all in all, in, in doing this, um, in, 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 in sort of pursuing this experience, uh, it was an, an incredible moment for us, an incredible growth moment for us, and certainly not for the faint of heart. There were a million other little day-to-day -day decisions that we had to make, like how are people gonna take a poo? And should uh, the internet be a thing? Do we want a dishwasher um, in the home? But I think the best decision that we got to make on a daily basis was just to move forward.